Wouldn't it be terrible if we didn't grow up? I think it would be great if we didn't grow up, actually. <laughs> Good Lord, I worked a lot. Why don't I have a million dollars today? <laughs> well, you probably invested it in the wrong stock. Well, I didn't have any of it. I, they took it away. I, I was a child anyway. You're suppressed because you cannot play with kids your own age, which is a natural desire. And you are um, uh, watched over so carefully that you feel like you're, you're doing something wrong and you, you really want to go roller skating. Uh, that's something I never told Mary Small. I remember I saw a comic book once called True Comics Magazine. True Adventures of a 12-Year-Old Girl with Her Own Radio Show. Do you have any, anybody ever tell you about that? Yes, I have a copy. She was the, the epitome of the, the musical performer. The recording artist starting at age 10, the girl with the big voice, all of these things were part of her and part of the image of New York. She was uh, very witty, fiercely sadistic, fiercely sarcastic, fiercely bright, as I would say brilliant. My ex-husband wrote the music recently for the Adams Family, and uh, he's no longer Mr. Small. Now, if people don't know me, I say, well, I was once married to Vic Mizzy, who wrote the Adams Family. I think that's a bit of irony that would make a good novel.